Glenn Villeneuve, a name that resonates with fans of Life Below Zero, is known for his fearless adventures and deep connection to the Alaskan wilderness. Villeneuve became a standout figure on the show, captivating viewers with his survival skills and unique philosophy on living off the grid. But what happened to Glenn after he left the series? Welcome back as we uncover the real story behind Glenn Villeneuve's departure from Life Below Zero and explore where his journey has taken him since. Glenn Villeneuve's story starts in Burlington, Vermont, where he was born on March 18, 1969. Growing up far from the hustle and bustle of city life, Glenn developed a deep connection to the outdoors early on. His family lived in the woods, and this natural environment became his playground and classroom. From a young age, Glenn's education was anything but conventional. Instead of attending regular schools, he was homeschooled by his parents. They taught him everything from reading and writing to essential survival skills. Living in nature, Glenn absorbed a wealth of knowledge about wildlife, weather patterns, and plant life, setting the foundation for his future in the wilderness. Glenn's childhood was filled with adventure and outdoor activities. At just nine years old, he was already climbing mountains, tackling the peaks of Mansfield, Vermont, with the skill and determination of someone much older. While most kids his age were still learning the basics, Glenn was mastering the art of mountaineering. One of the most remarkable stories from Glenn's early years involves a journey he undertook at the age of 12. Alongside his uncle, Glenn embarked on an ambitious trip from Massachusetts to the Canadian border. Although they didn't complete the journey, the experience only fueled Glenn's adventurous spirit. By age 13, he convinced his mother to let him return to finish the trip solo showcasing his remarkable determination and independence. Despite eventually embracing some modern technologies like TV and the internet, Glenn remained true to his wild roots. His upbringing in the woods, combined with hands-on experiences in hunting, fishing, and crafting, prepared him for a life most people could only dream of. These early experiences not only shaped Glenn's skills and knowledge, but also instilled in him a profound love for nature and adventure. This unique upbringing set the stage for his later endeavors, including his notable role on Life Below Zero, where his extraordinary survival skills and deep connection to the wilderness captivated audiences worldwide. Glenn Villeneuve started his way to the show Life Below Zero when he made up his mind about leaving society and becoming a true citizen of Alaska. He has always been fascinated by the wilderness and the rocky outback, and he chose to embrace the wilderness by moving into the wilderness of Alaska. He has managed to lead an extraordinarily different life and eventually came to the notice of the producers of the show, Life Below Zero, where Glenn appeared for the first time in 2013. Since his introduction into the cast, Glenn was a valuable asset to the show. Due to the specificity of his segments, he brought an element of realism to survival. While other cast members concentrated on stressing different ways of living each day under these harsh conditions, Glenn had a different attitude towards surviving. He viewed it as a life, a stream that is in constant flow instead of a string of trials one has to face and overcome in a short time frame. Such a view was well received by audiences and granted him a steady fan following. In the course of his stay on the show, Glenn was part of many incredible events that proved his ability to stay alive in the wilderness and be in harmony with it. Another moment was his solo hunting trip for caribou when he managed to move into the animal's cave, cross difficult ice, and prove keen tracking and hunting instinct. This episode not only showed viewers his proficiency, but also his subtlety and appreciation of the land. One of the decisions that made an impact was when Glenn was attacked by a pack of wolves near his cabin. Contrary to reacting hysterically, he remained composed and collected his wits along with responding actively in order to ensure his safety in the borders of his territory. It showed him as a brave man and someone capable of making crucial decisions in a situation that could be fatal to many. Another reason why the show may have been popular is because he proved to be more than just a man who knew a lot about the wilderness but a man capable of using his skills when his life was in danger. Glenn's lifestyle in the wild was a complete opposite to the season's main premise of the constant fight against nature. Survival for Glenn was not about surviving or the pain, but about living in harmony with nature, spirits, and the supernatural. He was, for instance, teaching people about the concepts of sustainable living like, how to get a meal by foraging, how to construct sustainable houses, and how animals worked. 
His segments gave the viewers insightful look into a life that was sustainably produced to sustain people's needs and was in tune with the earth. People loved watching him progress with each episode, appreciating the realness and the systematic approach to problem solving he portrayed on screen. Many fans admire Glenn's ability, as the sociable savage, to thrive on the show Life Below Zero. He captivated audiences by transforming the wilderness into a romantic world, free of fear conveying the sense that everyone should have the opportunity to experience life there. Glenn Villeneuve was swiftly catapulted into the spotlight of Life Below Zero because of his big input, as well as a perspective on existence that was different from his counterparts on the show. Glenn's segments, starting from his first episode in Season 3 and up to his final episode in Season 10, also had elements of realistic survival knowledge coupled with his distinctly philosophical views on surviving in the wild that was unlike anything watched by the viewers featuring other cast members. Glenn sourced his popularity among fans because he was able to survive in the wild. In his segments, he could show how he learned the secrets of the wild, the laws of nature, and how he could live off the land. In contrast to the others who were painting the grim reality and difficulties of everyday experience in the wilderness, Glenn viewed survival as a continuous process heightened adventure. His mindset was not one of mere survival, but rather of keen appreciation of the difficulties and of simple pleasures of the woods. Glenn had many performances that made him famous in the show and further exhibited his expertise and approach to most events. One of them was the episode in which Glenn was hunting a caribou on his own. As he follows the animal through a tough countryside, the hunter was able to prove the techniques he uses when hunting and endurance. This episode was not only a hunt, but rather the key to understanding Glenn and his love for the soil, as well as animalism in general. It proved how he was capable of surviving in the wilderness while sustaining himself, and at the same time observing utmost deference to nature. Another suspenseful scene was when Glenn nearly fell victim to a pack of wolves while cutting wood near his cabin. Instead of panicking, he remained composed and made efforts to safeguard his life. With his rifle tightly in his hands and courage to the max, Glenn successfully drove off the wolves, an act that required a lot of courage and skill. The episode enthralled the audience and made him a bona fide wilderness man. Glenn Villeneuve has had his fair share of conflict and controversy whilst on Life Below Zero, with most of it centered on the show's producers and production team. While Glenn was popular and contributed heavily to the show, creative differences and Glenn's tendency to work on his own projects often caused conflict. Right from the start of the show, the audience could notice that Glenn had different ideas for his segments than the producers. Glenn's guiding philosophy was to capture the authentic lifestyle of people living in the wild, showcasing the potential for a beautiful and adventurous life rather than one of constant struggle. This was diametrically opposed to the producer's desire to focus on day-to-day -day struggles and sensationalism they deemed would engage viewers. Glenn wanted to narrate stories that were focused on living in harmony with natural features as well as adventure, but the producers opted for the raw theme of surviving against all odds. This fundamental difference in creative direction remained one of the key issues that the two of them argued about. It was not rare for Glenn to conflict with the production team, whether over the creativity of the show or other issues. He was rebellious and self-willed at times, which clashed with the rigidity and order that was needed to make television. Such incidents were very rare, and one of the most memorable ones happened during a winter shoot. Glenn, who has always been seen as an adventurous and rash person without consulting anyone else, decided to venture alone into the wild. This sudden decision disrupted the production schedule and had the production team's wheels spinning in their head, trying to figure out how to protect him. While all these actions were showing that Glenn was a very genuine character whose desire is to explore the world, the crew was finding it hard to get the shots they required. Sometimes Glenn had conflict with other members of the cast, based on his appeal and engagement with the actors he was working with. Alaska is a very unforgiving environment, and the conditions were generally always tense, and at times the lives of the cast members were in the hands of the other. That means that the differences in hunting territories, the ways they tried to survive, and the concepts guiding their lives might become a cause for conflict. One notable strength for Glenn was his independence along with a specific approach when it comes to managing tasks. This could sometimes prove to be an issue, 
and led to disagreements on the matters affecting the shooting of the film. This was on top of the fact that Glenn was severely reckless and had the tendency of breaking the rules and doing complicated stunts. He was almost impossible to handle on set. His recklessness and blatant disrespect for safety measures were a perfect portrayal of a daredevil. For instance, they have had several incidents where Glenn would go for days in the forests with no one knowing he was there. Another significant issue was Glenn's habit of putting himself in dangerous situations. His approach to survival involved taking risks that others might avoid, which was a double-edged sword. While it made for compelling television, it also heightened concerns for his safety. One notable incident involved Glenn tracking a wounded bear alone, a risky endeavor that could have ended disastrously. The production team, already on edge due to the challenging filming conditions, found it increasingly difficult to manage such unpredictable behavior. These creative differences, conflicts with the production team and cast members, and Glenn's rebellious nature of breaking rules and experimenting just brought the relationship to a boiling point. The producers and crew of the show had to think of the cost and benefits of sticking with Glenn as an actor. In 2019, these accumulated tensions resulted in Glenn's departure from Life Below Zero. The decision was not made lightly, but it became clear that the challenges of working with Glenn outweighed the benefits. His exit left a void in the show, as he had been a fan favorite, but it also allowed the production team to focus on maintaining the safety and cohesion necessary for the show's success. Glenn's time on Life Below Zero remains a testament to his adventurous spirit and resilience. Hyatt highlights the inevitable conflicts that arise when creative visions and safety concerns collide in the harsh reality of wilderness survival. Glenn Villeneuve left the show Life Below Zero in 2019, and the fans of the show were saddened as they saw him as a free-spirited man who enjoyed living in the Alaskan wilderness. The reaction of the audiences was immediate and even more striking. Glenn has learned that he had many fans who appreciated his honest portrayal of his brave lifestyle and his daring spirit. It took many of his fans a moment to understand why he had to go, and they were all left disappointed. Following Glenn's send-off, fans took to social media posting messages and comments to show their support to him, as well as revealing their disappointment on his departure from the show. Many fans empathized with Glenn's progress and left comments about the desire to see the man back on the screen. However, the producers of the show received a mixed response. Although they appreciated Glenn's impact and the factors that he offered to the show Life Below Zero, they knew why it was important to make the change. Maintaining safety of the crew as well as maintaining the coherence of the show was very important. The producers released statements that thanked Glenn for his presence on the show and noted that letting go was a painful decision. Over the years, Glenn was never shy to express his grievances to his fans and came to social media and public forums to defend himself. Subsequently, in a very elaborate status on Facebook, he made it clear that the producers of the show never had any intentions of allowing him to participate in the following seasons, meaning that his run on the show had ended. Glenn made a comment regarding the absence of communication from the production team and the lack of an explanation. He claimed to have been unfairly decommissioned from the show, as he had heavily invested his time in the show for six years and 85 episodes. During his podcasts and interviews, Glenn gave further details on the events that led to his departure from the show. He mentioned the conflict and the rising clashes of his intent to depict the real versus the producer's intent to portray drama. Glenn also responded to the safety issues, stating that this was one of the ongoing concerns regarding his risk-taking nature, but this was necessary in his book of survival. Nevertheless, Glenn's decision to leave the position was good for him because it created opportunities for him. He remained active on his social media platforms, which allowed him to stay connected with his audience while providing more content from his wilderness journey. His departure from Life Below Zero marked the end of an era, but also the beginning of a new chapter in his adventurous life, proving that Glenn Villeneuve's spirit and resilience extend far beyond the confines of reality television. Since leaving Life Below Zero, Glenn Villeneuve has continued to lead a fulfilling and adventurous life. He has diversified his endeavors, becoming deeply involved in real estate and the stock market. Glenn's knack for making savvy investments has helped him grow his wealth, allowing him to remain financially independent while pursuing his passions. Despite his departure from television, Glenn's love for the wilderness remains unchanged.
He frequently ventures into the Alaskan backcountry, honing his survival skills and exploring new territories. His ongoing adventures keep him connected to the rugged landscapes he cherishes, and he often shares these experiences with his fans through social media and podcast appearances. Glenn Villeneuve's Life After Life Below Zero is proof of his enduring spirit and adaptability. Whether managing his investments, spending time with his loved ones, or navigating the wilds of Alaska, Glenn continues to live a life defined by resilience, independence, and a deep respect for nature. His journey inspires many to appreciate the simplicity and beauty of living in harmony with the natural world.